Hi everybody, welcome back to Pharma Explorer. Have you ever thought about how much of a drug actually reaches your bloodstream to produce its effect? Well, let's explore the idea of bioavailability in an easy and straightforward manner. In technical terms, bioavailability is the fraction of administered drug that reaches the systemic circulation. It is expressed as the fraction of administered drug that gains access to the systemic circulation in a chemically unchanged form. It's the measure of how much of a drug, exactly as it was when you took it, actually gets into your body's main transportation system. In other words, it's the amount of a drug that reaches your bloodstream without changing its chemical structure. As an example, if 100 mg of a drug is administered orally and 70 mg of this drug is absorbed unchanged, the bioavailability is 70%. Bioavailability is like a measure of how effectively a drug gets into your bloodstream. We can figure this out by comparing what happens when you take a drug in different routes. Let's take a look at how your body absorbs a pill you swallow compared to a drug given through an IV injection, which goes directly into your blood. When you take a drug by mouth, only a portion of it ends up in your blood. But when a drug is given through an IV, it goes straight into the bloodstream, ensuring 100% bioavailability. To better understand this, we create a graph where the y-axis represents the drug's plasma concentration and the x-axis represents time. This graph helps us see how the drug's levels change in your blood over time. The area under the curve on this graph shows the total amount of the drug your body gets, and it helps us compare how different medicines are absorbed. So, when we talk about the bioavailability of an orally administered drug, we're talking about the ratio of the AUC when you take it by mouth compared to the AUC with an IV injection. It helps us understand how well your body absorbs medication. Now let's look into the factors which influence bioavailability. First pass hepatic metabolism. When a drug is taken orally and absorbed in the stomach and intestines, it first goes to the liver before entering the bloodstream. The liver can alter the drug structure, which decreases the quantity of the original drug that makes it to the rest of the body. Some drugs like propranolol and lidocaine undergo significant biotransformation during a single passage through the liver. Solubility of the drug. Drugs that are very hydrophilic or water-loving have difficulty getting through the lipid-rich cell membranes, making their absorption less effective. On the flip side, extremely hydrophobic drugs or water repellent also face poor absorption because they can't dissolve in the watery body fluids and, as a result, can't interact with the cell surfaces. To be well absorbed, a drug needs to strike a balance, being mostly hydrophobic yet still able to dissolve in water-based solutions. Chemical instability Certain drugs, like penicillin G, can become unstable when exposed to the acidic environment of the stomach. In contrast, substances like insulin may undergo degradation by enzymes within the gastrointestinal tract. Nature of the drug formulation Drug absorption can be affected by various factors that aren't directly related to the drug's chemical properties. These factors include particle size, the drug's salt form, crystal structure variations, and the inclusion of other substances known as excipients, like binders and dispersing agents. These elements can impact how easily the drug dissolves, thereby influencing the rate at which it is absorbed into the body. Well, that is end of detailed presentation about bioavailability. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more engaging content. Thanks for joining Pharma Explorer today.
Let's meet again with another interesting video.